Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli. With me today, of course, is co-founder of The Gaggle, Peter Lavelle. So, Peter, yesterday, while you were recording you know, the, you know, the, the new season of uh, Crosstalk, I was uh, addressing the UN Security Council. And okay. um, it was a, obviously a great honor. Um, and you know, so it was a very, very interesting um, occasion. Um, and, um, you know, I, I mean, obviously, you know, a, a number of impressions, um, you know, one impression obviously I had uh, was that um, the Russians are always very isolated. I mean, there are 15 uh, members of the Security Council. Uh, Russia is obviously one of them and a permanent member. Um, but and then particularly uh, if it's a debate on Ukraine, then the Ukraine representative uh, is also there. And uh, so Russia really can't call on anybody who would support its position beyond um, a kind of pro forma. Well, we should, you know, work towards peace. You know, we need, we need to work towards some an agree, agreement, negotiations and so on, um, as opposed to the NATO bloc of uh, countries, which is just enormous. Because, you know, you have obviously the, the three NATO permanent members, the UK, the US and France. Um, and then you have others, you know, the various associated states like Japan. If, if Japan's not there, then Germany's there. Um, and then you have uh, Malta, Albania, again, the, she was the uh, president of the current president of the UN Security Council. Uh, that's not the Albanian representative. Um, it was it, the, the Russians have to sit and listen to these brickbats you know, day in day out. I, it, I, I, you know, they have to really have um, a thick skin. The hardship post. That's right, and then I mean, so that was one thing, and then the other thing is the um, uh, that uh, you know who acknowledged my uh, presentation, who didn't. Um, so the, again, U.S., U.K., France. Um, representatives, they they just they they thanked the the briefing from the, the the UN high representative on disarmament, and then said nothing further. Um, but the others, including um, states that were sympathetic to the U.S. position, such as Switzerland, at least thanked me uh, for you know my comments. I mean, they they didn't. It wasn't you know thank you very much. That was really interesting. But they just thank you for your comments. So, Thank you. Uh, or they better still was um, we took note uh, of your comments. I took note of your perspective, um, which is the best I, I, we can do. <laughs> <laughs> take, little victories, take them. Okay, it, little it, it, exactly. So, so I think that was uh, you know was that was you know my my immediate impressions uh, uh, of that occasion. Well, my my um, I watched it early this morning, so it was hours after you had um, uh, done your briefing. As they call it, um, I thought it was exquisite. To be to be fair with everyone, George uh, um, presented me beforehand a couple of drafts, and we talked about it. Didn't he, George didn't really change anything? Okay, <laughs> he added a little bit, and that was about it. Um, presentation was very very solid. Good eye contact. Um, and you didn't go too fast, but it was a good clip. Um, Everything you said is verifiable through multiple sources. There's there's no red herrings there. There's no his, there's no hysterics or histrionics or conspiracies. Okay, all of it was extremely well documented. A nice little package. What was really interesting is obviously the the Russian delegation. Thank you, uh, you know, rapporteur. Okay, that was that's kind of cool. You know, that was yeah yeah yeah. You, yes, you can refer to that. You can yes. refer to yourself as that if you want now. <laughs> um, but I, I I looked at only at the uh, um, the, the British, uh, French, and uh, the UK response. The rest of it I I didn't watch. But um, was so before George and I here convened, I I pointed out to him that um, um, the condemnation is there in the moment, in the moment. Okay, North Korea. Okay, oh. you know this guy. You know, but they never and they never have, and I expect that they never will. Look at how this conflict came about. George's first words were something to the effect, this isn't a conflict that could have easily been avoided. Yeah, exactly. That's how we start. Okay. Exactly, exactly, yeah. But these people will never look at the predicate. There's no history. It's always in the moment. And if they disagreed with you, George, and they obviously do, well, explain their disagreement. Right. They will never do that either. Okay. 
Right. You know, they could have just said everything you hear and heard was a pack of lies, and I'm going to get, I'm going to give you uh, an example, a random example from what he said. They don't, they don't, they never do that. They never do. Right. No, that's right, and that's really key um, to uh, the, the propaganda victories because in the moment you start uh, discussing any crisis in terms of its history, well, how did we get here? You know, um, then. You know, they, they would be in all, you know, in, in a lot of trouble. I mean, this was the remarkable thing. I mean, I remember during the Vietnam War, it's a long time ago. What was unique about uh, Noam Chomsky's approach is he said, well, let's just go through this process. Let's just, just go through the diplomatic history. How did we get to where we are? And nobody really wanted to talk about that. You know, we thought about, oh, the communists, you know, Ho Chi Minh and whatever. But, well, let's just... Let's just go through what was agreed upon at Geneva, and how did the United States act um, subsequent to the to the Geneva uh, talks? Um, and so, uh, and the same thing again with Yugoslavia. Um, you know, the the people prefer to pick on some Srebrenica, Vukova, uh, you know, and you know Milosevic, and they say, well, okay, well, how did we get? How did we? You know, we had this very successful country. It was a model country. People admired it enormously, Yugoslavia. And now we're getting into the, this horrific wars that were going on in several because republics. Because Serbs, Serbs are evil. Exactly. So the conclusion is, well, the Serbs were evil. That's it. That's that's it. You know, you don't have to take it any further. The Serbs were evil. But if you go through the history, well, let's just see, you know, what, what, this, you know the, the, the steps that led us to, the, to these uh, multiple wars. And again, it was could easily have been avoided but they weren't. And so, so that's why it, the, the key part of Western propaganda is always to zero in on some one event. And then that's what people need. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. You know, that, that, that explains everything. You know, that's Rebrenica. That explains everything. I remember very clearly um, as the conflict was going on. This is before the Internet, everyone. So you had to rely upon the sources that we had. It was the um, um, a national broadcast. I don't, there was not, maybe cable, but it was very limited. And I remember this story, George. Maybe you do um, about this young girl that had uh, had been shot in the head, and they had a medevacer to the UK, and it was like oh, the paper is the biggest story right. ever, ever, ever. Okay, right. Right. and it was it was obviously. I mean, uh, I'm not denying it, it. It happened, but it was obviously used as a propaganda right. point. To, to enrage people. Who shot her? The Serbs shot her. Right. That's Poor right. girl, she was 13, okay? You know, right. the, and, and I, and I remember those stories one after another, after another. Yeah. Never talked about um, um, uh, the the uh, what happened during the Second World War, these yep. fascist groups, yep. the yep. very extremist groups that the U.S. was supporting. Right. Isn't that interesting? There's a pattern here, right. isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. It, it, always never bring in history because that's uh, that's really very awkward. And so that's what I tried to do um, yesterday. Is that well? Let's let's look at the history. Uh, and uh, and then when you when you do that, and you're not just focused. Oh oh, Bucha. Oh oh, you know all oh, these uh, you know these orphans. The Ukrainian orphans are being taken to Moscow. When you're not you you focus. Well, let's you know how did we get here. Then you know the the story might change. People might start thinking that um, well, actually, you kind of did an awful lot to 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 really instigate this war. You know, you're you're by and large responsible for it. Um, so that's that's really what what's so important. Uh, you know, when when you get a, a, the chance uh, such as this, uh, is actually uh, acquaint people with history. I mean, again, I, I always found astonishing how few people knew about Yugoslavia, about how this war came about. Oh, well, I just thought Milosevic was a bad guy. I just thought he was a, uh, he, he was a genocidal murderer. That, 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 that's, <laughs> that's all I knew because that's all I read in the papers. And you know, why bother uh, to learn anything else? Well, that's what made your contribution so, val so valuable because it gave context. And the mainstream media and the uh, current political elites never want context. So. I'd like to uh, put a bow on this here. So George, our dear friend George, is on the Pantheon with Roger Waters, Max Blumenthal, Ray McGovern, Jeffrey Sachs. I think uh, acolytes are appropriate. Um, good work, George. I And I, I, I have a good feeling they're going to tap you again in the near future. Because, you know, Roger Waters is, a, you know, for my generation, you know, Pink Floyd and all that. But that's not, you know. 
Ukraine isn't his wheelhouse, okay? Right. And, he, and and I, he's very sympathetic, empathetic person, okay? Right. But George is an expert. He's an expert on the destruction of Yugoslavia, and we're watching the destruction of Ukraine. Yep. Valuable asset we have here in George. Right. Well, thank you very much, Peter, and thank you for your help. I think you know, as as you said, you know, we went through a couple of drafts uh, together, and um, uh, nothing you know, changed. Yeah, that, nothing changed. I, I did. I was a sounding board, and sometimes you really need that. You need a yes, sounding absolutely, board. Absolutely, absolutely. So, thank you. For I'm that. not taking and any I'm... credit. At all. Zero credit. It all goes to George. Uh, uh, all right, everybody. This is the Goggle with Peter and George. We're on local, so please go to the goggle.locals.com. Do visit our store. And today is Wednesday. That means tomorrow George will have a live stream. And I hope he gets a lot of questions about his <laughs> briefing at the United Nations Security Council. Yes. So please join me. Come with comments, criticisms, and suggestions. On the way out the door, think about a little buddy because buddy said, I, I got to brief the Security Council. <laughs> where, 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 where's, you know, you know, where's my <laughs> invite? For, for world, the, uh, the world of chihuahuas. Okay? Exactly. I wanna... I, I've got a lot to say. <laughs> and so, um, you know, you, you know, Buddy's a little aggrieved. So if you have a few bob in your pocket, whip them out, dunk them in his tip jar. Uh, that might, um, you know, soothe uh, him a little bit. So we're very grateful for all of your help and friendship and support. The more you're able to donate, the more of these videos we can make, the more we can improve the technology, and above all, we can, um, you know, you know, calm Buddy down a little bit. You know, it's all, only a little bit. So remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.